Hi everyone, today I will be watching The Fugitive. First of all, I want to say a huge thank you. Yesterday I put up the announcement video of our pregnancy. Yes, we're pregnant. And I, I'm, I'm just so overwhelmed by the amount of love that we've gotten. So many comments on YouTube, on Patreon, it was just on Twitter, it was just so overwhelming. And I had put the registry in the description box because some people asked and I was like, you know, maybe one or two people will buy an item or something. Maybe, you know, fingers crossed. Why not? And then I woke up and you guys went mad on the registry list and so many things were bought. And I just want to thank you so much because, well, let's be honest here, babies cost a ton and it takes a village is what they say. And in a way, I feel like I have a little bit of an online village supporting me. So thank you so much. I don't want to go into it too much because then I'm going to start crying again. I'm super hormonal. But thank you so much for your contributions and the little messages on there because it means a lot to know that people from all over the world are so excited about this baby. And it's weird to explain. It's a weird feeling to cross, but... It means a lot to me and it means a lot to my husband so thank you so much for that love and i'm gonna stop <laughs> so today the fugitive i am stoked about this one because oh god i missed my description here but it was based on a real story about someone escaping and i'm i'm a sucker for that and the whole crime thing that's all me and harrison ford he's so handsome i don't know how much like i don't remember much about when i started reacting to movies but I will forever remember, I love you. I know, heart crushed. So in that sense, I have a little bit of a crush on Harrison Ford. So I think it's gonna be nice to see him because I think it's been a while since I watched a movie with him. So I'm super stoked for today. I hope you enjoyed today's reaction. If you do, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, full reactions you can find over on Patreon. Let's get into this one. <laughs> I've ter Terminator vibes. Uh, it's not a great situation. Oh no, he's the murderer! Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> I thought like the detective or something like that. The guy chasing, not the guy doing the crimes. Hello. 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 Oh no, I want to enjoy his sexy voice and not hate him because he's a murderer, but I guess I'll need to. Thank you, I was just done my last job. <laughs> really beautiful tonight. I know you hate these things, but God, I love looking at you. It, was it him though or is this one of those everything seems to look like it was him but it wasn't him dr stevens just went into emergency or and asked if you could give my hand on this one all right call him back and tell him i'll be right there so he wasn't home and she called for an intruder which i assume you don't or like it wasn't a soul but then wouldn't you immediately say who it was like if it was your husband wouldn't you say it was that? So like anything unusual going on as far as uh Phone calls, people hanging up. Uh huh. So we're not assuming that it was him. We are assuming that somebody intruded earlier. The security system in your house, it's a pretty good system you got there. <laughs> Anyone have the coding? Anyone besides you and your wife? Oh, oh man. Those scratches on your neck, Doc, uh, did the one armed guy do that? Helen scratched me when I was trying to move her. Before or after you had the fight with the one armed guy? I told you. Do you want a gun, Doc? Oh, this like line of questioning where you just fire questions while the person is like trying to tell a story. His fingerprints are all over the lamp, gun, and the bullets. Mm. Financially, you're not going to be hurting you after this then, are you? I mean, she was worth quite a bit of money. Oh, no, don't do the, you took out a life insurance two weeks before. <laughs> when I came home, there was a man in my house. I fought with this man. Uh -huh. He had a mechanical arm. You find this man. What, what do you weigh? God! What color was his hair? What color were his eyes? Dude's like, oh. You will hear ironclad proof of Richard Kimball's guilt. If you are a partner, right, you're always immediately a suspect when somebody has died, but I cannot imagine what that must be. Like, okay, if he did it, right, but imagine if he didn't. 
being accused of the murder of the person you love the most while well, you just lost them as well right you should be grieving and you are please come what seems to be the problem ma'am did you not go like 991 what's the address of your emergency ma'am is your attacker still in the house yeah now she's gonna see him and say his name and then they're I'm like trying... he's trying to kill me no! Is he being framed? Oh my god, I'm like all over the place. That you'll be remanded to Illinois Smart State Penitentiary in um, Menard, where you will await execution by gloves. lethal injection. Oh man. When I was in law school, I wanted a tattoo of like the legal scales from justice. And my mom was like, what if you grow up and you're disappointed in the justice system? And I was like, what are you saying, mom? I will never be disappointed in the justice system. And then you grow up and you're like, <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, trap. Yeah. Wait, that guy! I've seen another movie! This guy! Oh, damn. Could you not just break instead of keep driving off something? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, doctor, do something! Unlock me! <laughs> he actually is doing it. I thought he would be like, yes, my trust levels are rather low right now. What the hell was that? Oh, me. Nee. Nay, nee, what are the odds? Talking about a freaking shit day. Oh, what the f Sideways, you cannot outrun a train. Oh. Okay. Um I forgot that the fugitive like implies that he's of course gonna be running. Oh my god. Oh who is he? Oh, oh I'm so bad the last weeks with remembering faces. Uh, the prisoners are all dead. And the only thing checkpoints are going to do is get a lot of good people frantic around here and flood my office with calls. So I guess I'll take over your investigation. Where are the bodies, though? Like, the bodies should be very close if they're all dead. Wyatt Earp here to mop up. Sam, before you funny. go, we're going to need Wyatt Sam. Earp. Excuse me, Sam. Another American reference. <laughs> do you want to change your bullshit story, sir? Does he not need to go to the hospital? Like, I get that he's a prick, but should he not be treated? <laughs> A fugitive has been on the run for 90 minutes. Your fugitive's name is Dr. Richard Kimball. <laughs> Go get him. Sending out the dogs. <laughs> like, oh, I mean, my co workers. <laughs> what do you do in a situation like. Maybe I'm naive, but I don't think you can outrun that. But then I'm also like, I lived in a city where 30 prisoners escaped and I don't think they were all found. So you might as well try. <laughs> He's such a coolio. <laughs> ah, f no, not my thing. Also, like, we're gonna try to hide more stuff on the reactions, like blood and, you know, because all my videos, one by one, are deemed not good for ads. I have so much work to do. And it kills the views as well. So it's not just the ads, but then basically YouTube takes it out, the algorithm. And I never used to have that ever. And now I just have, like, every video. <laughs> Except the animated ones. <laughs> He's really eating this like a baboon. <laughs> oh no. Help me out here, Doc. Okay. <laughs> you shut the f*** up. Vascular surgeon? What the hell is that? Somebody that makes more money than you. 
Lots of friends, doctors, hospital staff. The thing is also that it's so specific. Like, why would you, if you invent a story, why would you invent that story? The wounded guard swears he saw Kimball right outside the emergency room. Well, that's hot. And an ambulance is missing. <laughs> I want to know where I know this guy from because I cannot. No country for old men. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. It's going back now. Okay. I'm glad I looked it up. Turn around every now and then again. Oh, he's not going to turn around. Oh, this is okay. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you an American? Because nobody would ever do that. <laughs> like, like, dude, get your car. <laughs> I'm so sorry, right? I never want to offend Americans, but like that was such a stereotypical, like, like, come on. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. <laughs> Just watch these shoes. Shut up. <laughs> I love the music in this one, too. Wow, okay. Oh, me. Don't become a real killer, though. If you were innocent before, don't start shooting cops now. I didn't kill my wife. I don't care. <laughs> That's actually very honest. But it is very telling that that is what someone would say, right? Because would someone who did it be like, this is the one message I really need you to understand. Oh my god. He's not gonna jump. You're dead. What the f So I assume you don't die because otherwise this would be the end of the movie. What the hell? Also, why is he like on the... Why do you stand there? Is nobody scared? Can we go home now? No. <laughs> I'm dead. Not gonna make him easy to catch. How come they have turned off the water? Somebody from county's working on it. Oh yeah, you can stop the water. It's smart. I don't know if the other ones are realistic or just a bit lazy or... Is it really just unrealistic to go looking for a body there? Oh man, imagine literally not have done anything, lost your wife and then this is your life. I think I would rather be dead. I always thought it was super easy to find people, but we had this scary guy in Belgium a while back and he uh, hid in like a an open area space but like with not open area but like a wide area with forests and plantations and stuff and it was so crazy because like belgium is really tiny so when i think about a big plot of land it sells my like small compared to what you guys would think of and it took days to find him and he actually was already dead so it's so crazy to think how hard it is to find someone It's so hard because I don't know how I would respond, but I do feel like if somebody just got murdered, maybe don't go hugging them if they're already dead in terms of like, not that you don't want to, but just preserving evidence to find that other guy. Lady. Is this the time you were still offering rides to men? Like, I, what? Lady. <laughs> no. I know that times have changed, right? So maybe back then, but I don't know. I would never stop from a man walking down the street. I'm sorry, all men. <laughs> Do you feel like his hair looks that different? I don't know. <laughs> Why did you run? Running only makes you look guilty. I'm not going to turn myself in. I need help. I need money. You're asking me to harbor an aid, a convicted felon. You showed up not dead yet. Let that be a lesson to you, boys and girls. Don't ever argue with the big dog. Why did you run? Running only makes you look guilty. Next stop. Merchandise. Damn, like, come on from a phone call. 
and it's crazy because normally i'm on the police side right so i'm like yeah yeah let's get them let's get them so smart and i'm like damn they're so smart <laughs> i need some money sure sure get in got a green light rich that's a friend damn what do you mean he did it for the money he's a doctor he's already rich well she was more rich <laughs> Now, you all know what high regard we hold as scumbag. So I personally am donating a bottle of 12-year-old scotch. <laughs> this guy is, like, having Hank vibes. Are we assuming that because we think he's a little bit framed that it was someone who's working in that department who just used one of the prosthetics? Oh my god, he's actually solving this himself. I saw Richard this morning. What? You saw him this morning? He stopped me in my car. I gave him some money. He's taking the honesty route. <laughs> if you want help, gentlemen, you've come to the wrong man. Richard is innocent. Like, I get that he's a good friend, but is this not obstruction of justice? 100%. Is he as smart as you are? Smarter. He's enjoying this. <laughs> Which is so wrong. Or he's creating this whole new identity with this card and okay okay thing is though we know he's innocent so it's easy to be like yeah good buddy but let's be honest it wouldn't be the first time that you're like oh yeah ted bundy looked like a great guy turned out not to be you know so it's always tricky now the the guy who looked normal and had everything in order could be a psycho rapist or murderer Police. Damn, he had such a good plan and then just using this, the chaos to escape. Oh, they weren't after him. Oh my god, it wasn't about him. What a mini heart attack. I'm really looking at his face and like wondering why is he so handsome? Is it because we've known him from previous movies? But then I'm like, no, right? Because you don't have that with every actor. But I'm always looking at him like, damn. Hmm. He fine. <laughs> He's smart. Basically infiltrating in the whole system to have a cover and also freaking find out who... You better be straight with me, kid. You mean to tell me that this is the guy staying in your mother's basement? <sighs> That's smart. He's just snitching to save his ass. Hey, oh, way! Another one! You bring this kid down to observation room two? Yeah, you. Come on, help us out, okay? What's your name? What are you, football player? Baseball player? Oh man, my heart is breaking. Get this one in the room for a stat. So he like indirectly saved him by changing his condition. Aww. Ooh. Class, where's that boy I sat down with the janitor? What boy? The one with the fractured sternum. He never came through here. You have a particular interest in our patient's x-rays? It's a hobby of mine. It's a hobby, really? Oh shit. Who changed those orders? I guess she didn't find him hot. <laughs> I guess she saw right through it. For a second, I was like, oh my god, blossoming romance. She's gonna be completely, like, swayed by the fact that I helped the kid. But no, of course, like, he's a killer in your mind. <laughs> How's the boy doing? He saved his life. That's... <laughs> like, it's such like a yikes because that's such good news but also like damn he's such a good guy so why would a guy be stupid enough to come and hang out in the trauma ward act like he's mother Teresa? excuse me yeah sorry sorry guys i need to keep my sugar in check a bit better now excuse me man but, uh, we have word to be placed no kidding armed robbery he's where he a criminal um the water is green 
If they can die this river green today, why can't they die of blue the other 364 days of the year? <laughs> Driscoll Clive. ID, please. Damn, he actually got in. Oh, oh. Man, you got me down here. Might as well talk about something. Listen, pal, I wish I could, but I can't. I'm sorry. That sucks for that other guy. Like, imagine how excited you are that you get a visitor and then it's like a dud. Hmm. I love the sound that the movie made when he like realized. Oh fuck! That was the one moment in your life you should not have looked up. Come on, the fact that he's looking for a guy with one arm. His story checks out. Why would he be doing that if he murdered her? Oh <laughs> This looks like so much fun! <laughs> With the little cap. So do you now feel that perhaps he might be innocent? That there may no, be a one-armed man he was out convicted. there? He was convicted in a court of law. He's guilty. Yeah, in a sense, I get them as well. Like, the investigation has been done. Like, they do need to think about if he's guilty or not because he's convicted. This is not like a innocent not proven guilty. He is supposed to be proven guilty. But still, doesn't it make you think why we would be looking for the guy with the arm? Oh no. That is not great. <gasps> Damn. Hi, how are you? Good, Dr. Kimball. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Do you remember what I told you in the tunnel? We ought to be sipping some weed. It's him. Remember what you told me? I remember you were pointing my gun. You at said that you didn't care. Richard. 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 Ah, great. Great, great, great. This is so embarrassing in a way, right? That he needs to. Like. He needs to solve a murder while also not being caught. How you doing, Mr. Sykes? Step right in, Mr. Hello. Sykes. Yeah, everybody knows my name here. Big happy family, huh? Mm -hmm. Is this a trench coat convention? What the hell's going on? A trench coat convention. Good one. You had a break in, Mr. Sykes. I sure hell hope you're a cop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're the ones breaking in. Richard Kimball. I don't know any Richard Kimball. They're finally catching up. Does he have a reason to come after you? Well, hell yes, I have a prosthetic arm. I must have murdered his wife, right? Oh no, they're buddying up. Do you have any idea why Richard Kimball would be interested in these photographs? No. Oh. Cancun, Mexico. It was a junket that the company paid for for some doctors. Kimball go with you? You don't see him in the pictures, do you? Whoa, calm down. I told you I don't know him. Yeah, do you mind if I look around and see if anything's missing? No. I would be looking very well at what he's looking right now to be missing. How'd you lose that arm? In the line of duty. He's gonna be having to do something with it, right? He couldn't save the arm or something, or... Uh, their curiosity is finally, like, playing. I found the man who killed Helen. What? It was me they were after. Devlin McGregor. Lance was supervising the protocol for our DU-90. He knew I found out it was causing liver damage. <gasps> Lance is dead. How? Oh. He died in a car accident last summer. No! <coughs> oh, no! Richard Kimball broke into his apartment. You're getting pretty desperate, aren't you, Mr. Gerard? Oh, yeah. Oh, like with this smug <laughs> face. I've never seen that person in my life before. I'm sorry. Thank you. This guy. <laughs> One seven four three zero. You got it. Thanks, Bones. I'll make sure all this stuff gets back to you. Say, whatever happened to that thing with your wife? Mm. He has a lot of people on his team. <laughs> Lentz, a pathologist. I only remember his name because he died last summer. Hmm. Oh, what are you doing here? 
Oh my god, she... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! I need to watch a full cast list because... Clearly not the same tissue. And not only did they all come from healthy livers, they all came from the same liver. Kathy Beauty. <laughs> I feel like she plays in a legal thing or something like I do remember her, but from more recent stuff. I am saying Dr. Kim. That's not what I asked, sir. On the Oh, like he like kinda told them that he did, right? He was one of the original patent holders in RDU90. I was sending him my tissue samples. He was replacing them with healthy samples, issuing the path reports on them and shit canning my stuff. Lentz died August 21st. Half of the samples he approved were signed the day he died. Oh, come on. Why is it so hard to find an actress? Jane Lynch. Oh my God. I know her from Glee. This is embarrassing anyway. Come on, Harrison. You're doing a good job though. Imagine like now he's running away from so many different people. It's getting worse. Kimball called Sykes. Get Sykes in here now. On the night of his wife's murder from his car phone. Cosmo, do you have that arrest report on Kimball? <gasps> oh. Sykes is gone. He's nowhere to be found. What? He's gone. We're all super surprised. There's an officer in there? Whoa. Oh, man. It's getting worse and worse and worse. <laughs> This is great though, if you see someone trying to kill him, you know that at least this is happening. So it might be more of a safety thing. Oh no. Nobody else notices. This is actually great, right? Because Kimball is not the one shooting, so... Cover is blown. Now we just need to get out alive. Oh no, they're gonna think Kimball shot him. No. Oh my god. I hope nobody's gonna think that he did it. There are witnesses. Mary, there are witnesses. You should not be in trouble for this, right? Mr. Stop. Transit police report officer down at Balbo Station. Kimball is suspect. Repeat. He is a suspect. No! They are witnesses! Repeat. Suspect entering Tilton Power Mall. Oh no. Gentlemen, my friends and colleagues. Oh, do you remember the time my glasses were in where you could literally only see things if you were looking at the exact spot? Uh, you want to help us, you stay the hell out. Arrest us. Amazing the discussions of who is actually in charge. Does that happen a lot though? Like, I feel like I only see that in American movies and shows. They're like fighting about who can do it. And the truck's name is Provazic. Provazic is remarkably effective and has no side effects whatsoever. It is also noteworthy that this drug... What are you gonna tell them, buddy? I'm sorry, I'm in the middle of this speech. <laughs> you almost got away with it, didn't you? I know all about it. Oh, I'm so dumb. Ladies and gentlemen, my friend Richard Kimball doesn't oh, feel well. No. Oh no. I watched a movie for request recently. And what I said in that is the who done it is many times a person you see in the beginning of the movie for a very short time and you don't suspect at all. And that's always a person who done it. And I like literally didn't follow my own rule here. You switched the samples after Lens died. After Lens died, you were the only one who had the access. He's like <laughs> You kill Lentz too, huh? Can we get some security huh? in here, please? He falsified his research so that our DU-90 could be approved and Devlin McGregor could give you Provasic. At least they all know what this means. Well, would you? Like, why? He doesn't have any other choice than to not give up. That's a man who has nothing left to lose. That's dangerous. I hope this is not going to be like one of those tragic things that he just dies and then falls off dramatically. And we all know when it ends just horrendous. Why is he like walking so slowly? Yeah, there was a fight in here. This seems intense. <laughs> 
Damn, the helicopter's like, ah! Oh, this is confusing! Oh, 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 okay, he's survived more difficult falls before. This guy ever quit? I never that elevator stops. No, man! Hey, you didn't want him to get shot. Okay, I thought it was gonna be confrontational, but I like the running better. Oh, okay. Uh. Dr. Richard Kimball! There's no way out of here, Richard! The entire building is locked down! <laughs> He's sort of like, heard that before. Got in the way every time. The Chicago Police Department thinks you're a cop killer. They will shoot you on like, sight. what the f*** going on? There were witnesses. Witnesses saw who shot Richard, the cop. Yes! Oh my god! Finally! Thank god! I know about Dr. Charles Nichols! Richard, he borrowed your car the night of your wife's murder. He had the keys. No forced entry, Richard. He telephoned Sykes from your car, Richard. Uh oh. No Cosmo! Oh, f That was rough. Damn, he looks messed up. Oh man, this is heartbreaking. I know it, but it's over now. You know I'm glad. <laughs> I need the rest. Oh, I like his humor. Very empathetic towards this guy. Dude, you're literally staring in someone's eyes who've been convicted for a murder that he didn't do to someone that he also lost and is sad about. And then this whole shebang. Oh, Cosmo is fine. Thank God. I'm taking a vacation. Uh, or medical leave, you know. I was just gonna say, like, I was thinking, like, maybe this is just for the procedure, but why are you handcuffing this guy? That's disgusting in a way, but. I thought you didn't care. I don't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it took them long enough, right? Look, me long enough too but uh, wow this movie kept you like on your feet from the beginning to the end right damn 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 look it's hard to describe why but i think that right now you guys have seen me watch a lot of movies so it's quite clear why this is a movie that I enjoyed. It's a crime one. It plays super into the investigation, but also it has a high, like a lot of these moral questions. And yeah, you really feel with the characters. And then it was, I feel like it was a quick movie from the beginning to the start. I wasn't bored ever. I wasn't like, oh my God, we're running again. Oh, he's like, I feel like movies like this could have that effect where like any escaped again. No, like with every little piece, we discovered a bit more about what happened to his wife. And it, yeah, just triggers your sense of fairness, you know? I uh, had no idea about the outcome. And like the other doctor, I did not suspect him whatsoever. And I'm kind of like disappointed in myself. <laughs> that also means that it's a really great movie that keeps your toes. Unless all of you knew, which is possible as well. So let me know if you had an idea, if you suspected him. I feel like in hindsight, it's super obvious, but I had no idea. So I love this movie. I could watch movies like this all the time. I the crime thriller genre and also Harrison Ford. Damn, it was so hot, you know? Like, what is it? His face is just like, mm. Anyway, I hope you had a lot of fun today. I hope you liked this reaction. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. The full reaction, as always, you can find over on Patreon to watch along together with me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.